Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So earlier this week at Microsoft's Build 2023 conference, Microsoft announced some interesting information regarding the Microsoft Edge web browser, which I thought I'd just do a quick information video on in case you would be interested because we do talk about Microsoft Edge quite a lot on the channel. Now earlier this week, Microsoft announced that they are now introducing a Microsoft Edge for Business, which is uh, in preview on managed devices. So that means it's mainly focused um, at enterprises and corporations, but also seems to be Microsoft's um, solution for replacing the now out of support and um, disabled Internet Explorer browser. And uh, they say that it will be a dedicated browser for businesses featuring its own visual elements, which um, if we head over to a screenshot um, uh, provided by Microsoft from that announcement, those visual elements include an adjusted icon, which we can see here to the right. And um, this is what the so-called, to the left of that, what the so-called personal um, Microsoft Edge browser looks like. And we can see that the Edge icon for business um, will have a little suitcase overlaid on top of the actual icon. And it will also include um, the organization's name and other visual cues. And Microsoft says um, that uh, it will also include a set of enterprise controls that are focused on security and productivity features and uh, is planned to be the standard browser experience for organizations activated by an Azure Active Directory AAD login. Now, um, basically, Microsoft say the whole reason for introducing the um, Microsoft Edge for Business is rather than having multiple browsers to cater to um, various needs that um, you might have as a Edge browser user, Edge for Business will help enhance your privacy while simultaneously, and I'm quoting this, maintaining crucial enterprise grade controls set at the organizational level. So what this is going to do, um, basically in a nutshell, is that Edge for Business, um, according to Microsoft, will address problems created by hybrid work, where they say the lines between um, work and personal have been blurred. So as an example, um, they say that according to feedback, um, users want privacy and separation in their browsing, so personal data like browsing history and passwords aren't synced to their organization, which means basically at a practical level, it will actually separate the browsing data into uh, two different caches and two different storage setups, which means that the two won't overlap and won't be blurred. So basically, as they say, it's to, um, it's to separate the lines between work and personal. So that's the whole reason for basically rolling this out. And uh, um, how this will practically work according to Microsoft from that announcement, is that they say work-related sites such as Microsoft 365 apps and services and sites requiring work login automatically open in the work browser window. And a growing set of popular sites automatically open in the personal browser window. And then once enabled, you'll be able to seamlessly and automatically flow back and forth between the work and personal browser windows depending on the site and you can also de designate additional sites for work or personal use in settings. So obviously a whole lot gain on you, but at, at the end of the day, it's just to separate your personal browsing experience from your work-related uh, browsing experience, which I do think a lot of you do find yourself in. So, And that's according to feedback. So obviously Microsoft now trying to resolve that issue. And um, at this stage, Microsoft Edge for Business, they say, um, is in preview. Um, has started to be rolled out in preview since that announcement a couple of days ago and that's on managed devices so that's business devices and uh, microsoft edge for business they say is also coming to unmanaged devices in the coming months and obviously i'll keep a close eye on that and if you are interested i will post and let you guys know about any updates regarding microsoft edge for business in the future so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one